everybody. So today's video is all about finding fractions of amounts. So let's start with something easy. Let's start by finding fractions that we should just know by now. So things like a quarter, a half and three quarters. So I'm going to give a target number. I want to find these three fractions of 184. All I do is divide my number by two, divide by the denominator. You're going to hear that a lot in this video. So I want to find half of 184. So the first thing I'm going to do is find out how many groups of two go into one number. So you can see, it's impossible to get a group of two out of one. I don't have a big enough number. So I'm going to cross out the one and carry across that value into the next place value, which gives me 18. So I now need to find out how many twos go into 18. 18. So I've popped that nine twos go into 18. So I've popped my nine across on the top and I have nothing left to go over because it's gone into 18 exactly. So then the very last thing I need to do is find out how many twos go into four. Two. But look at how I would find a quarter of that. So the next thing I want to do is have a look at how I would find a quarter of that number. Now the way I would do this is by realising that a quarter is half of a half. So as I have found that 92 is my answer for a half, I have to half that number again to get 46. Or I could divide 148 by 4 because 4 is my denominator. Remember, divide by the denominator. So that has given me the answer 46. That then means if I want to find three quarters of that number, I know that three quarters is the same as one half add one quarter. So I could add together 46 and 92. That would give me the answer of 138. 38. So three quarters of 148, oh, sorry, 184 is 138. An amount, you divide your number by the denominator. Now, as I've been saying all along, in order to find a fraction of an amount, you divide your number by the denominator. To divide 138 by six. I'm going to need to divide 138 by six. I need to find out how many sixes go into one, into one smaller than six so I cross my one value out and I carry it across to the next one so I cross my one value out and I carry it across to the next one so now I need to find out how many sixes go into 13 I can see that two sixes go into 13 because two sixes are 12 so that means it goes in two full times but with one left over because I had 13 and I've taken 12 away so the one that remains gets carried over into the next place value so now I have got 18, So one sixth of 138 is 23. But actually, we're going to take it one step further. And we're now going to have a look at finding a fraction of an amount where we have something in our numerator other than one. So what I've done is I've kept the fact that I already know in the top corner. I know that 1 sixth of 138 is 23 because we've just figured that out. This question is asking me to find 5 sixths of the same number. So following the same rule as earlier, divide by the denominator, but now we're going to add a new rule in. Once we've divided by the denominator, we need to multiply by the numerator. I always kind of reminded my children that that one is times the top, if you like it to rhyme. So divide the denominator times the top. Now we've already divided our denominator, we know that our answer is 23 from the last uh, question. So then I have to times that answer by 5. So that means that 5 sixths of 138 equals 15. Now you have got a proper fraction where your numerator is smaller like this, and you have got a proper fraction where your numerator is smaller than your denominator, but you have somehow ended up with an answer that is bigger than the number that you were finding a fraction of. So for example here, if I had got an answer that was bigger than 138, I would know that I'd gone wrong somewhere in my method because my answer cannot possibly be bigger than the amount that I'm trying to find a piece of if I've got a proper fraction. So just something to bear in mind, not hard enough. So we're going to push ourselves even further and we're going to do one that in involves dealing with decimals. So here I want to find 6 eighths, 6 eighths of 438. 
So we've got 8 into 4, which which we can't do. We have carried the 4 across. We've got 8 into 45, which 43, sorry, which go in 5 times. And then 3, sorry, which go in 5 times. And then we have got 8 into 38, which are 4 times, but with something remaining. 8 doesn't go into 38 wholly. So there's a way I do this. I have to put in, put in my decimal places, as you can see, because I know I've still got some values to carry over, but my next smallest number is going to be a tenth. So I need my decimal point there. I'm going to carry that 4 across, and I'm going to pop a 0 there, because there's no place value there. So my number is 40. going to pop a zero there because there's no place value there so my number is 40 times once I've found that number out I then have to do my second step of the problem which is multiply my answer by the number 38 and multiply it by 6 to get 6 8 so we've got 6 times 5 38 and multiply it by 6 to get 6 8 328.50 or just 328.5 because that 0 has no place value so it doesn't need to be there need to be there so here are some questions for you to have a go at they get harder as they go down um, pause the screen and once you've had a go at solving all of them, if you press play, we'll go through the answers together. Hey everybody, great work and make sure that you come back again to find some more helpful videos.